Hi, it's Eric with Cat Avenue. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a vessel, uh, adding some piping, and then routing it to a pump. Um, so let's get started. So up here is the uh, vessel utility. Click on that. And then in this dialog box, we have the design uh, parameters. We can uh, specify the diameter here, uh, the length, and a bunch of other things. So have a look at this uh, and compare it with this and set it as you need. Down here, um, you can choose different heads. Um, here, I've chosen flat for top and bottom. I've got my uh, Draw 3D turned on and my nozzles turned on. And I've added a couple of nozzles. Let me go ahead and show you how to... I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And I'm going to add that same nozzle again. So I've, I've got a 3-inch nozzle size uh, welding neck and um, the angle or the radial position um, I defined at 180 degrees and I'll show you what that means in just a bit so once you do that you've added your nozzle it becomes a part of the list here and then you're ready to draw let's go ahead and do that choose rectangular for the base so here we've got the, uh, the vessel looking down at it and uh, this is the 180 degree mark so the zero mark is going to be on the top side and then we're coming down uh, this angle here so I've got one at uh, 225 over here as well so I wanted to show you that if you need to adjust this down a little bit it's a dimension between the center and the the flange itself so if we come over here and look at look at the H dimension, uh, that's where you want to set this on this side. So um, go ahead and have a look at this in isometric view and uh, we can shade it at this point. Um, let's go ahead and do that so we can have a better look at it. And then uh, I'm going to be adding some piping off these uh, flanges. And also, let's go ahead and create a pump. Now, in this the pump uh, icons here, in this uh, same kind of thing, design parameters on the right, if we want to edit them, for example, if we want to change the size here, that's a size 2, and this the side here is a side 1. Um, so I got both uh, 2 and 3 selected here. So I got a two inch size. So if I wanted to change this to three inches, I can do so like this and then I'll save it and then I'll draw it, making sure that 3D is turned on. So I'm just gonna put it over here. Point direction is gonna be this way. So that draws in the, the pump. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some construction lines in here and I'm going to use the X line or XL it's called the command here I can just define a few things so that I can route my pipe a little bit easier before I get into that if I go down and check my uh, eSnap settings I've got endpoint center and no turned on which is good so uh, fire up that X line command again be snapping right into the center of this and then my X line is going to go this way so I'm going to do a couple more here I'm going to do an X line here this one's a little trickier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my view tab here and do a an orbit and then I'm going to place this one in this way now in order to orient this the right way I'm going to have to turn on my polar tracking down here so this way I can snap it at that 45 angle. See, there's a 45 there. In my polar tracking, if 
I go to my settings, I have 45 turned on. So you just right click on the um, icon and then just make sure that 45 is, is toggled. Now, if I look at this again, um, just kind of checking to make sure these are all looking okay and they are. I'm ready to kind of start, you know, cleaning up these construction lines a little bit. So I'm going to have um, pipe coming out this way and going over this way and then connecting into the uh, pump here. So I'm going to start my construction line. I'm going to be going out, say 10 inches and then over. We don't know how far here, so I'm just going to draw a line in here. Same thing goes with this one, so I could draw a line coming from here, then out, let's say, for this one, let's come out uh, 30 inches. Then we'll be going over this way, uh, let's just say uh, another 30, although we don't really know where this is going to end up quite yet. So let's go back into the have a look at this. Um, so what we want to do is we want to trim this line here to where the center line of the pump is. So we'll just do a TR command, Let's select the X line and then trim it. And we're going to do the same thing with the one over here. Um, so we can see we need to extend that one. So we'll do the EX command for extend select this line and then select that line there and that way the lines are all coming to the center line of that pump so let's draw another uh, X line going straight up from that pump there I'll zoom down on it now this time I just want to make sure my polar is turned off and I got ortho turned on so that I'm making sure that that's going straight up and down again let's have a look at what's going on here so we got uh, let's go ahead and draw a line in here and we're gonna go ahead and just trim this to the center line of that uh, pipe coming up and we'll draw another line here and then trim it like so 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 we're all kind of all ready and set to go as far as just drawing this pipe in uh, we are going to have a T here so I suppose we could draw the T in and then put our flanges in next so let's do that so we'll come over to met Q this is going to be a three inch line so we'll start off with this this T here it's going to be a reducing T, so we're going to be going back down to a two inch. Um, let's select it here from the center line. And then the upstream direction is going to be here. And then we'll just kind of rotate it in just using our cursor. So let's put our flanges in next. Uh, we'll just select this icon here and next we're going to be able to select our welding neck flange here just make sure this is selected and we'll put the flange the first flange in at the pump again the upstream direction down here we'll do another one uh, so 
upstream is going to be over here. I'm just going to adjust this view just a little bit so I make sure that I snap directly into the center of that. Uh, so we'll go back into MetQ, put our last flange in. Um, I got a 3 inch selected here. I'm going to change that to a 2 inch. Select the flange, select draw. We'll pick this one here. We want to make sure that we're snapping right where we need to. And turn on our polar tracking here. And put the upstream direction in. So we got our last flange in. So I'm going to right click here and uh, just make sure that um, I'm going to turn off couple things here. So I just have the node and the endpoint turned on. So that way we, we know we're sl selecting the node there. Straight piece, three inches. Choose draw. So MECQ is uh, putting in the elbows as needed here. And we just choose uh, enter for the last point. So let's draw another straight piece in here. And press enter. I think it's important just to have that node turned on and the um, end point. Otherwise, what could happen is you could select the center of something else in this flange and then end up with a bad result. So um, here's that two inch coming out of here. So we can do that right now. So let's go back into that same menu and we're gonna select two inches. And Snap to the node. And then to all the endpoints here. And then back here to this node. And then press enter. So if we wanted to, we could put a valve in uh, between these two. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we erase this piece here. And um, I suppose if we wanted to find the uh, the midpoint of that, this is, we could just draw a quick construction line in here and then come back into our MIT queue. And we'll choose a valve. Um, it's going to be three inches. Choose draw, and we want the midpoint valve here. And uh, so to find the midpoint of this, just on the fly, we can shift right click and then choose the midpoint here. And then you can see the, the little uh, triangle indicator here and then we put our actuator however we need it. Let's put it out here, I suppose. And then what we can do is put some flanges on that again. see that this is a really tight area. You can see here, um, 
we need to move this valve down a little bit so we can squeeze this thing in. Yeah, I should have probably made that a little bit um, not as not as tight in this area here, but anyways, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and put that flange in. And uh, here we're gonna want the um, this one here. And again, I can uh, shift right click. And here I'm gonna want the, the center snap. Since there is no node on that, uh, the end of that valve there. Um, point in the upstream direction down here. And the next piece we want, want is a straight piece, which we can just put in here. And then press enter. So let's have a look at this, uh, this model here. Let's see what we got. Come up here. And uh, you can see our end result. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if we wanted to, we could run a uh, bill of materials on this. Um, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. I think the uh, construction lines are helpful. Um, so try using the X lines. Um, there are, are lots of other ways of doing it by rotating UCSs and all that other kind of stuff. But for those just getting into it, um, perhaps this is a good method uh, just to understand uh, 3D space. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video.